Hey, and welcome back. Uh, I hope this is going to work. I dropped my microphone in a glass of wine after I did an interview this week. So, testing, testing. Yeah, I think it, it works. It's really expensive. Anyway, in the tradition of tomorrow's world, I often read interesting breaking science stories about things that are about to appear in the future. And two of them today are really brilliant. One that you've already seen because it's gone viral, and that's this. Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Great. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Great. So based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great, can you put them there? Of course. All right, so how do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. The apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. I agree. Thanks, figure one. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need help with, just let me know. But watch it again really carefully, because I think there's two incredible nuances in what they did that really connects with us as humans and lifts it out of the normal kind of robot stuff doing things and transcends it out of the uncanny valley uncanny valley yeah uncanny valley is where we who are very good at perceiving weird things everything's perfect but there's just a nuance here and there um controversially women are better at spotting uncanny valley nuances than men I like to be controversial. But watch what this robot does. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. So there's something different about that robot. Well, I've spotted two things maybe you've spotted more. First of all was its language model. Did you notice that when it reacts, it uses um, hesitation, which is absolutely brilliant because that's um, how, how, um, how we speak. Here it is again. All right, so how do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. The apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. And the other thing is this, yeah, this. <laughs> when we hand something to somebody, we know its weight. So when we give it to somebody, we do it there and drop it. Most robots are programmed to go, arr, 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 arr. but notice this one does, woo, boh knowing the actual weight of the object and its gravity. That's amazing. Whoever's behind this robot model, this AI company, really need to be watched because they know how to do it properly. Very impressive. And, and the second thing coming to tomorrow's world today is maglev trains. Remember Eric Lathwaite's dream?
sadly that dream didn't turn into a reality. Great shame. I love maglev trains. There are one or two throughout the world, but they're super expensive. One of the most expensive... Wiley. Sorry. Wiley, of course. Mm. Maglev trains? You think? Or is it breakfast? I don't know. You want down? Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Claw in nipple. Meanwhile, back to maglev train. Meanwhile, back to... Ow. Back to... Ow. Back to maglev cats, trains, is... Have you not always thought like I have, you could possibly run a maglev train on existing iron, steel, metal rail tracks. They would have magnetic repulsion if you had a bogey that you could replace wheels with maglev. Yeah, it's come true. It's tomorrow's world. Look at this amazing device. <laughs> zoom, zoom. Zoom, Woo. down conventional rails, take off the spinning wheels and put in levitating magnets. Fantastic! I want one today. Anywho, that's two things that have um, floated my boat better than the dog's bollocks. Oh, uh, can I say that? Or as good as crispy bacon. Peace, love and understanding. And if you like my Tomorrow's World updates, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I guess the truth is out there.